Hello and welcome to Screw Loops and today we're going to play a game of Ride, Marry, Avoid. I know what you're thinking, filthy beggars. So I've asked you guys on Twitter to comment below three different roller coasters and I'll choose which one I'd ride once, which one I'd marry which would mean I'd ride every single day and which one I'd avoid completely which means I'd never get to ride once ever or if I've been on it just never again. So um, let's go. UK Wooden Coaster Face-Off, Wicker Man, Megaphobia and Grand National. Some people might be a bit surprised by this, but I'm going to have to say I would marry Wicker Man. One, because it's quite a comfortable ride. Two, because it keeps me warm and it's very fun. Three, because it looks amazing. I'd have to ride Megaphobia once because as much as I love that airtime and I love the layout, it is absolutely brutal and I don't think I could ride it every day, sorry Mark. And I'd have to avoid Grand National because it's had its time, I know it's a classic but it, again like Megaphobia it's brutal but even more brutal so. Oh boy. <laughs> Hero Colossus and Infusion. Hmm, which one would I marry? Which one would I ride every day? That's the question. Oof. God, you know what, that, that, that's actually harder than I thought. I'd actually marry Infusion. Only if I could sit at the front every time, I'd ride Hero. Because, you know, it's a pretty unique coaster, actually. I don't, I don't think it's as bad as what people say. It's not the most comfortable ride, but it's, it's certainly interesting. And I'd avoid Colossus because I just hate my legs being squashed like this. That's the biggest problem with Colossus for me. Them trains are just dreadful. Velociraptor, Cobra, and Flight of Pterosaur. I'd marry Flight of the Pterosaur. I think that's a brilliant coaster and probably one of the best family coasters in the UK. I'd take it over Vampire, just saying that. I'd ride Cobra? That was a hard choice, to be honest. And I'd avoid Velociraptor. It's a great family boomerang coaster. Um, but I've done quite a few of those, so I'm not that mad about, you know, getting back on that. Cobra's got some good air time, so that's how I rate it. Add a bit of arrow. Revolution, big one, and vampire. I'd marry Revolution. I, I could happily ride that every single day. It's, it's a good coaster. It's probably the, the, probably the most comfortable out of the three, apart from maybe vampire. I'd ride the big one. I love the big one. And I'd avoid Vampire. I'm not the biggest fan of Vampire. I, I don't think it's, you know, it's okay, but I'll definitely take Revolution and Big One over that. Nemesis, Oblivion, and the Smiler. Three of the best coasters at Alton Towers. Marry Nemesis, ride the Smiler, avoid Oblivion, although I do like it. The Big One, Stealth, and Oblivion. Three of the biggest roller coasters in the UK. I'd marry Stealth. It's just an absolute buzz every time. Ride, oh, that's tougher than it. That's, that's a, ugh. Ride, mm, I don't know. Ride the big one, because it's got a cracking view and I'd, I'd, I'd miss that view if I had to avoid it. But again, Oblivion has as well. And avoid Oblivion. Battle of the Nemesis. Nemesis, Nemesis Inferno, and Nemesis Subterra. I'd marry Nemesis. I'd ride Nemesis Subterra because I actually miss it. And I'd sadly avoid Nemesis Inferno. Again, you know, it was a good coaster, but I'd rather ride Subterra at the moment. Battle of the Classic Blackpool Woodies. Nick Streak, Big Dipper, and Grand National. I'd marry Nick Streak, given the fact that it's probably the most comfortable one, and I wouldn't mind riding it every day. I'd ride Big Dipper because I just prefer the kind of layout it has to it, to it than Grand National. And I'd, I'd avoid Grand National. Hi, Screwy Loops for a local lad, Canuck. Hello, at Canuck from Albury. I'd love you to pick from my top three USA coasters that I've done Steel Vengeance, El Toro and Millennium Force. Wow, that's a, that's a tough choice. I'd marry Steel Vengeance um, because it's looks, it just looks like the best roller coaster on the planet, just saying. I'd ride El Toro because I've always seen pictures of it and videos and I just thought how crazy that first drop looks. I mean, it's a wooden roller coaster and it looks like 
it looks insane. And I'd avoid Millennium Force as much as I like the look of it. I just feel like there's other high uh, other Giga coasters out there that kind of pique my interest that little bit more. This is a good one. Flying Fish, Runaway Mine Train, and Scorpion Express. So these are like the three powered kiddie coasters. <laughs> I'd have to marry Runaway Mine Train. It's just got the most interesting layout. The theming on it's really nice as well. And I like the way it kind of dives into the cave next to Congo River Rapids. I think that's really cool. Flying Fish and Scorpion Express are essentially the same layout, except Scorpion Express has fire and a lot better theming. So I'm gonna ride Scorpion Express and avoid Flying Fish. <laughs> Hero, Grand National, Shockwave, pain and misery all around. Ooh, if I marry Shockwave, I'd have no genitals left. If I marry Grand National, I'd have no neck. If I'd marry Hero, my, my chest would probably turn into a dishwasher or something. I wanna keep my genitals, so I'm gonna say marry Hero? Roid Shockwave, avoid Grand National. Helix Icon and Star Trek Operation Enterprise. I haven't done Helix or Star Trek Operation Enterprise, so this might affect my opinions, but I'd 100% marry Helix. It just looks fantastic. I'd ride Star Trek Operation Enterprise again, like, you know, to get the cred and experience it. It looks like a very interesting coaster. And avoid Icon, but again, it's, it's a good coaster, so, uh, it's just a tough choice at the end of the day. Infusion, Kamali, Odyssey. The three bad boy Vakoma SLCs in the UK. I haven't done Odyssey yet, so again, this might affect my opinion. But I'm going to say marry Kamali because I really enjoy that coaster. Ride Odyssey because it looks like such a unique and interesting Vakoma SLC. There's, it's the only one with that layout out there. And avoid Infusion, you know. It doesn't hold a candle to, to the other two, I don't think. Rita, Stealth, Furious, Baco. Three Intamin Accelerators, which, um, you know, I like them all. I'd marry Stealth, um, just because it's got the best launch of the three. Best airtime, arguably. I'd ride Furious, Baco, I'll be honest. On the front, in an inside seat. And I'd avoid Rita. Sorry, Rita. Goliath, Goliath, Goliath. Well, I'd marry Goliath. I'd ride Goliath, and I'd also avoid Goliath. Yeah. Steel Vengeance, Lightning Rod, and Iron Gwazi. Um, again, obviously I haven't done any of these. Iron Gwazi isn't even open yet. I'm gonna have to marry Iron Gwazi because I've just been standing the construction since day one. I'd ride, this is, this is, this is tough. See, I wanna ride Lightning Rod for that quadruple down just to experience that. And I'd actually avoid Steel Vengeance, which sounds ridiculous, but that's how my head is swaying. Digipass Dan, Nemesis, the big one, Shockwave. Oh, yes. So the big one's in 1994. Um, of course I'm going to marry Nemesis, it's the best of the three. I'd ride the big one, because it's the second best of the three, in my opinion. And I'd avoid Shockwave because I want my ball sack. Taran, Shambhala, or Nemesis. Three of my favorite coasters. Now this is gonna be a tough one. Marry Taran, which is gonna be an obvious choice for me. Ride Shambhala, because I'll be honest, it's been a while. And um, I just think he's got some really good airtime on that. Avoid Nemesis, sadly, which is, again, ridiculous to say, but out of those three, I'm gonna to have to say that. The Ghost, Rage not included, because obviously it's the best. I disagree. Saw the Ride, the Smiler, and Speed No Limits. I'd marry the Smiler. It's the best of the three. I'd ride Speed No Limits. Best Euro fighter in the UK. Sorry, Rage. And I'd avoid Saw the Ride, because, um, Gives me a bit of an headache. Cheetah Hunt, The Smiler, and Steel Vengeance. Very random picks, but I'm gonna have to say I'll marry Steel Vengeance, of course. Ride The Smiler, and avoid Cheetah Hunt because I was so disappointed with Cheetah Hunt. I don't know why, it just really didn't do anything at all for me. Infusion, Hero, and Turbo Coaster. All fantastic coasters. I'd marry Turbo on the basis that if I keep going through that loop, I might turn two foot six. I'd ride Hero because I need a hero in my life. And I'd avoid Infusion because I'm scared of water. 
don't want to drown. Many thanks for watching guys and thanks for getting involved. If you want to see more of these in the future, then make sure to follow my Twitter, which is at Screwy Loops. Nothing else. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. Smash! Subscribe for more content like this and give the bell a click to keep all up to date. Videos on the left, merchandise on the right. Make sure to hit this button for the ride of your life. You've been watching Screwy Loops. Sure are a bit.